my name is chandi raja i am from india i am working as assistant manager accounts i would like to ask two questions number 1 as you say islam is a way of life as per the quran okay what do you mean by way of life what are the explanation for that can i get num brother the question that in my earlier answer i said islam is a deen it's a way of life he was asking what do you mean by way of life way of life means how do you lead a life what is good for you what is bad for you what is harmful what you should eat what you should not there are few do's and don'ts few things which are compulsory in life few things which are prohibited the remaining are mubah optional so the quran is a guide is an instruction manual for the human being that how a life should be led like how when you buy a machine you have an instruction manual what is good what is bad how you should operate so the way of life is how should you lead your life and what are the good things that you should not rob you should not cheat you should be truthful you should pray to almighty god you should give charity to the poor all these are instructions like when you appear for an examination brother if you want to pass the test in science so what do you do you read the textbook you memorize it and you appear for the paper allah says in the quran in surah mulk chapter number 67 verse number 2 allazi khalaqal mauta wal hayata it is allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds so this book is the instruction manual you read it and you lead your life according to how a creator wants if you follow the instruction correctly you will go to paradise if you disobey if you break the rules then you won't go to paradise then you go to hell so this is a way of life mentioned in the quran and the sahih hadith that the saying of the last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him hope that answers the question brother sorry for interrupting one more suppose as you said that uh, it is the way of life but following the way of life as is said in the quran there are lot of hurdles which we have to come across in each and every day of life could you explain me brother said that following the way of life many hurdles will come brother i by my education i'm a medical doctor to pass my degree bachelor of medicine you know when you pass ba degree the test is easy but when you pass ba you become only a graduate when you pass graduation mbbs bachelor of medicine bachelor of surgery it's more difficult we have to study for 18 hours a day sleep less but once you pass you get a better honor doctor dr in front of your name so higher the degree more difficult is the test so this quran shows you a way of life once you pass this test you go to janna you go to paradise hurt is about to come when you sit for an examination there are bound to be some questions which are difficult that does not mean run away from the examination so hurdles are bound to come but this hurdle will take you towards allah subhanahu wa taala allah is testing you if there are no hurdles then where is the test if there are no hurdles brother in life then where is the test as i mentioned earlier almighty god has created life and death to test which of you is good in deeds if there are no hurdles then where is the test allah wants to test you whether you follow his commandments or not so this life better the test for the hereafter unless there are hurdles how will you be tested you can't say i want to appear for an examination i don't want to study i don't want to read anything and i want to pass how can you pass hope that answers the question brother i am just a muslim one year i have to alhamdulillah I would like to point out two things actually. The first thing is I observe 